guys, we're back. It is uh, Whiskey Wednesday here at Springfield Distillery. We are um, doing some fun things for New Year's Eve, I'm hoping anyway. I think it's been pretty fun to kind of play with it. Had a couple of shots just to try and things out for you guys before we got started today. So, um, Jim Newborn, if you're watching, I'm just going to see if I can... See if I could see the comments, but anyway... Um, Jim Newborn, I got it going straight today, so my hot chocolate sign that is um, something, here we go, I gotta remember which way I'm going, uh, from Jill Garrett. She was so gracious and got me one of these. Hey, Philip, um, for my hot chocolate, we did it last weekend. I did a homemade hot chocolate that was really, really good. If you guys haven't tried it, I would highly recommend it. Thank you, Leslie, I appreciate that so much. Um, Today is just about the shots. I've really had some fun doing this occasionally on tastings and that. I just think it's a fun way to kind of do something a little bit different. Um, if any of you have ever bought two bottles here in the distillery, a lot of times I have given away one of these shot glasses. Um, if you guys don't know how I use these, these are really cool. Um, these shot glasses actually have markings on it. And so if you hear me say like a half ounce pour, an ounce pour, or a full shot, these actually at the bottom of the hammer are a half ounce pour. The top of the hammer is a one ounce pour. And then um, right about up to here is about a full shot, an ounce and a half. That's what a shot is. So um, we're going to play with this a little bit. But um, I've really had some fun today trying these out and that. So I'm hoping you guys will enjoy this. I think, thanks, Jim. Do you see I got my shirt going the right way? I just want to make sure that you are proud of me that I've done this. Um, so anyway, uh, a couple of these that we're going to try. That banana one that was posted is a really, really good one. So we're going to play with that. Unfortunately, I think I use, I don't, we're going to measure today, Liz. Um, I'm using a lot of the brown sugar cinnamon. It just, this is the time of year. It just adds that little bit of spice. It, um, it just tastes really good. So there's a couple of these shots. I'm probably going to do about six to eight shots. I'm not going to drink them all. I'm hoping Mason, um, was going to make an appearance, but he's actually doing dog duty right now. So I'm hoping that, uh, not dog duty, but maybe dog duty at this point in time after dinner, um, he's going to come and um, do a few of these, these tastes and that stuff. So there's a couple that have just kind of come into play over, um, over, the, over the time that we've had these and that. And the first one is definitely one of my favorites. It's the Thin Mint. So what I'm going to do is I have crushed up some Oreos, just two Oreos, mashed them up in a bag, kind of broken them up so that there's a little bit of a, a crumb topping with this. Because to me, if you have a Girl Scout Thin Mint, the Thin Mint is all about that little bit of wafer in the middle and then that thinness, the thin, um, the mint part. You put them in the freezer, they're super, super good. So this one we're going to do um, as a Thin Mint kind of cookie. It just kind of reminded me of this. So the way I'm gonna mix this up is I really like, if you guys have taken at home any of these tasting jars, you guys putting the lid on this and mixing up your cocktail and then pouring them into shot glass or just using this as a stronger cocktail, uh, I think just works really, really well. So I'm gonna start with this and I am going to make, um, and I'm gonna make enough for two shots because you know, why just waste it on one? I, w I know I'm gonna want a second one. So why not we just go ahead and uh, start with that? So I'm gonna take, Yes, I'm measuring. I'm gonna do a one ounce pour. So I'm gonna do this right to the top of the hammer. And again, the only reason I do recommend measuring is because then it tastes the same. So, so many people have said that over the years, like they're like, oh my gosh, I go home and it doesn't taste the same. It's because you're not measuring. You have to measure. If you don't measure, it doesn't taste the same and it's not gonna be consistent. Eventually you'll get to the point where you can just kind of throw it in and do that. But this time, I want you guys to measure. So I'm going to take one ounce of the mint whiskey. It's right at the top of the hammer. I'm going to pour this into my little tasting jar right here. And then I'm going to take some chocolate syrup. And I'm going to say probably two teaspoons, two tablespoons. I'm going to do just a handful of swirls with this so that we get a good chocolate base on that. And then out of personal preference, this is just my personal preference, I'm going to add... Um, one ounce of heavy whipping cream just because I like the richness of it. I'm going to add that to there. And then I'm also going to add one ounce of this sweet cream. I just think, oh shoot, Jim, sorry. This is where I get backwards. Of this coffee made Italian sweet cream. I think this is really, really good. The other one that's really good is the Dunkin' Donuts cream, sweet cream. I think it's called, let me see. I think I've got one here. Um, 
this extra extra i would say this one's super good this extra extra coffee creamer this one has um it's got a nice sweetness to it so i would use this to mix also but i'm going to take one ounce of this um creamer in it which is just to the top of the hammer and again this is just a measurement so i know kind of where i'm at and what i'm doing with this so i'm going to add this to it this is actually probably going to be more than two shots um, so I've got my chocolate in here, I've got my mint whiskey, I have my heavy whipping cream, and I have a creamer. You can switch this up and decide if you want to do a mocha, if you want to um, change those. That's the beauty of those creamers. And then I'm just going to use this and shake this up. Put the lid back on it. Look at that. I've got a nice, really good, and if you keep doing this, that heavy whipping cream is going to get nice and, and thick with that. And then what I'm going to do with the same shot that I use. I'm gonna take some of this Hershey syrup, the one that I added to it, and I'm just gonna put this in the rim of one of those, um, one of the jar lids. Those, you guys all have these jars. I know you guys have gone home with um, the canned cocktails, our, our cocktails to go. So you've got this little um, Hershey bit here. And I'm just gonna take, and I'm just gonna do a little on the rim here, just enough to kind of coat this. So you guys can see, let that drip down. You got a nice, look at this, nice little rim on there and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this cookie because i want that little bit of cookie in there and now i've got a nice cool little rim on this one okay and then i'm going to take my mixed cocktail and i'm going to fill this up to a full shot you guys ready and look at that look at how cute that is do you guys see this nice little shot glass it's just super simple. It took me two minutes to do this. I did the mint whiskey, heavy whipping cream, the a little bit of chocolate syrup, and that, and then you guys look at this. How perfect is this? The little bit of crunch of that Oreo cookie on there. It's like I'm back at Girl Scouts and eating my thin mint. It's so good. definitely dangerous but look at how simple that is if you guys wanted to do these a little bit bigger you can do these bigger ones i mean you can do the bigger jars with this it's just very rich so what i love about these is the chance to get to have the richness of all of this but actually just in small doses like um if you're going to do this this is like a perfect little end of end of dessert i mean you have people over for for dinner and that stuff you make a couple of these we sell the shot glasses so we can help you out with that. But if you guys have shot glasses, it's super simple to do. You want to just do that mint whiskey. Um, I did one ounce of mint whiskey. I did one ounce of heavy whipping cream. And I did one ounce of the Italian sweet cream. But again, like I said, you guys can change this up and decide to do whatever creamer you want. It really doesn't matter. If you don't want the sweetness of it, go ahead and get a different creamer with it. Get a sugar-free or that. Um, Jim, you have to try this. I promise you, whenever you get back from doing all this stuff, I'm going to bring you a bunch of shots so that you can try them because we're going to celebrate your surgery. So um, that was that shot. The next one I'm going to do, which I think is also super good, it is going to be kind of like um, a hot fudge sundae. And I'm just going to keep in the theme of this because I just think that this one's really good. No, take that back. We're going to go move on to the banana one because I think that banana one is going to be super, super good. Um, I've made it before. I thought it was really yummy with that. You could rim this and do the caramel sauce on it. Um, it's definitely one that I would recommend putting the little bit of caramel like you saw in the photo with this. I don't think, oh, I did pull out some caramel sauce. So let's go ahead and do this one because this one's going to be fun. Again, staying with the dessert, I'm going to move into some sour ones in just a few minutes just so you guys know. Um, but this one I'm going to do with the banana because I think it's really, really good. I'm going to take this little bit of caramel sauce. And again, I'm just going to put this in the lid because it just gives you enough. You guys can see it's just enough. You just want a little bit on the top just to kind of make it fun and I just swirl this around with my shot glass let it drizzle down and look at I've got my um you could do this with a graham cracker if you wanted to those graham cracker um crushed up in that you can make this however you want to make it kind of like that um sorry that's gonna be really good with this banana one this one I'm just gonna make in the shot glass because it's super simple I'm gonna use this for this um I think it's called Finest Call. I think I got this on, um, if I didn't get this on Webstron, I think you can also, a uh, Samoa shot. Yep, we're going to have to play with this cat. I'm, I'm telling you, next week we're going to be up in Northern Virginia. And you and I are going to be, I'm going to bring all this stuff and we're going to be making some shots. Um, so this one is just a banana thing, but you guys can use any of that. There's um, at Food Lion and at Walmart. Um, 
I think it's in the international section. There is this um, banana uh, puree. There's, um, I, we've talked about what the name of this is and I can't remember off the top of my head. There's a strawberry banana one that would be actually really, really good as this. Um, you guys could use that for this. But this one I'm gonna do and I'm gonna make this in the um, shot glass just because I think it's that good. So see the caramel, I would highly recommend. This is the sauce. Do you see how the mess it's making? If you guys got the caramel um, uh, sundae topping, that that stays. Or um, I think I got these little like individual caramel ones. Oh, these are good. This is the one I should have used. I made a mistake. These Marzettis where they do the individual caramel, this is also a really, really good one. If you're going to have people over and you're going to do a bunch of glasses, highly recommend this because it doesn't, um, it doesn't drop down like this. So um, definitely recommend a thicker caramel sauce on that, but that's going to be good. We're going to clean this up anyway. With this one, I'm going to take, and I'm going to do this brown sugar cinnamon, and I'm going to go halfway up, which is my half ounce pour. And again, this is just... It's just a preference. It's what I would, would recommend doing in the tasting room. You don't have to do it this way. You can go a little bit higher with this, but I'm gonna add a half ounce of this banana puree. And I'm just gonna go to the top of the hammer with this one. Can you guys see that? I've got that brown sugar cinnamon. Look at how yummy this looks. That's gonna do that. I've got the brown sugar cinnamon. I've got my um, banana cream in this. And then what I'm gonna do just to make it super fancy and make it fun, I'm gonna take just a little bit of whipping cream, your wetty whip, and I'm just gonna put this right on top. You guys, look at this. It looks just like banana pudding. Look at the banana cream pie. Do you guys see this one? How sweet is that? You guys can do this with any of your purees. If you guys, um, make a puree if you decide to um, do bananas and, and puree those up. You can do this with the brown sugar cinnamon. I've got the half ounce of brown sugar cinnamon, some of that uh, banana puree. If you guys find that in Food Lion or Walmart or anywhere else, this banana puree is pretty popular. And just the whipped topping on top and look at that. It looks just like banana, banana pudding or banana pie. So let me try this one. Tastes just like banana banana pudding. Oh my God, that one's so good. If you guys like banana, Sam Knapp, that one's for you because I know how much you like banana. I know you love banana just like I do. So anyway, that's that one. So we're sticking with the brown sugar cinnamon just because again, I, I just found a lot of people have gotten the brown sugar cinnamon. I just think it's a really great seasonal um, one. So I'm going to do one more, which is my apple pie. This one is super, super good with this one. I'm gonna take this again. This is just the shot glass. Here's some fun stuff. I'm gonna put half ounce of that brown sugar cinnamon in there. Do you guys see that? And then I'm gonna take this Simply Apple Juice. Do you guys see this one? This is the Simply Apple Juice. It's really, really yummy. Mixing this with the brown, brown sugar cinnamon is a given. I would definitely do this as a larger cocktail and then top it with ginger ale or ginger beer. I think that that tastes really good. But this one is gonna be my little apple pie shot. So I have a half ounce of the uh, brown sugar cinnamon in it. And I'm just gonna top this right to the top. This is another one you could do with um, caramel on the top and it would be a caramel apple pie, however you wanna do it. But these would be perfect to have just around for everybody to do a little shot at New Year's if you guys are gonna have some family together with this. This one is so simple. You can do any whiskey with this one. You could do the orange, you could do the honey, you could do the bourbon, the 1842, it doesn't matter. This is gonna taste like just a little bit of seasonal goodness. Yep. It literally tastes like a piece of apple pie. Um, you could sweeten this up by adding that caramel to it if you guys wanted to shake these up and make it, you know, just a little bit more flavorful and um, add the caramel seasoning to it. And that, this would be super, super good. So that's my apple pie. What do you guys think of that one? My goodness, look at these. Look at these so far. We've got these little cocktails. These are the um, Thin Mint, the Banana Pudding, and the Apple Pie. All of those super, super yummy. If you haven't tried them, definitely let me know what you guys think of those. This one um, I did next, I thought this one was super good. And this is one that I actually would make a double shot of this one because I think you guys are gonna find that this is super good. Um, 
I'm gonna do this with our honey whiskey just because I like the fact that um, it's a little bit stronger, especially if we're doing this um, for shots and that obviously less is more with that, but this is actually more potent, so it's really, really good. I'm gonna take one ounce of our honey whiskey with this. And then I'm gonna do, I found, I tried this with the whiskey sour and I tried um, this with the Tom Collins. Highly recommend doing this with the Tom Collins if you want, see this is where I mess up, um, if you want a little bit more lemony. The sour mix is a great whiskey sour um, shot. You can do that if you guys prefer a little bit more lime in that. I think this fantastic pose makes a really good one of those. Um, but this one I thought was just a little bit better, more lemony. So I'm going to take and I'm going to add two ounce, uh, one ounce, sorry, of the um, Tom Collins. So I have one ounce of the honey whiskey. I've got one ounce of the um, Tom Collins mix in there. And then I actually want to add just a little bit more honey because I think it actually tastes better like that. And I'm gonna take this honey puree that I do and I'm gonna add just a little dollop of this. If you guys remember, I take the honey, I break it down with 50% boiling water. I think it just makes a nice little thing, but this is gonna give that honey just a little bit more richness to it. I'm gonna do just a couple swirls with this. You can add real honey to this if you want just to kind of add a little bit more sweetness to this, which is a great balance with that Tom Collins. And then I'm gonna just mix this up so that that honey and the um, uh, Tom Collins mix and the um, honey whiskey gets mixed up. So I'm gonna give a really good shake for this. And then right before I'm gonna pour these into my lemon drops, my lemon drop little shots, I'm gonna add just a little bit of, um, of the club soda to it. And I'm picking club soda, you could use Sprite, it really doesn't matter. Um, but I'm gonna add about an ounce of the club soda to it, just so it cuts a little bit of that tartness. Uh, Mason would like it much more as a lemon drop. But um, I just thought that that was actually um, just cut it when I tried this and experimented a little bit with this. And then I'm going to use my spoon and just give this just a little bit of a swirl, not to kind of mix it up, but just give it a little bit of that. I'm going to take this and I'm going to take my shot glass and I'm going to pour this to about the shot, the full shot. So I've got about two shots in this one. And then just for fun to make it pretty, I've got my shot glass. Again, you guys are using your own shot glasses, whatever. I'm just gonna put a very thin slice of lemon in that just to make it kind of pretty. Can you guys see that? The lime, lemon in there. And this is a little bit of a lemon drop. I'm digging this. A little bit of that tartness. I would uh, say that this is much more of an appetizer um, shot. Definitely not the um, dessert that you've got with the rest of these, but I think this is really good. It's with the honey whiskey. Um, you could totally alter this and do this with the bourbon or with the 1842. The orange whiskey would be really good. And if you want just a little bit more um, vibrance to it, add the mint. The mint is gonna really make that um, Tom Collins pop if you haven't had this. Whew, goodness gracious, I'm gonna have to stop doing these shots. I can tell you that much because this is gonna get really ugly in about two minutes. I got one more that I want you guys to see. Um, God, the, the ideas are going crazy. I could take this little shot glass, I could fill that with a half ounce of um, corn whiskey and fill that with our um, uh, Bloody Mary mix. Those would be really great for those of that you like it. Um, take some of that pre-cooked bacon, just cut it into little pieces and lay that across the top. I should have done that one for you guys today because I think it, if I do it, I'll take a picture and send it. I'm not a Bloody Mary person, but for those, um, Leslie, that's watching, I would definitely say that would be super good as a shot. Half ounce of the corn whiskey, um, up to three quarters with the um, Bloody Mary, and then put a little piece of the pre-cooked bacon on that. Got my dogs coming in. I think Mason's coming to possibly try a few of these shots. He um, was going to be here doing Whiskey Wednesday with me, but things changed, so he's actually um, going. Mason, you want to come try a little something? I got some few shots that you might be able to try. Um, this one I think is gonna be one. Why don't you come on over here and say hi to everybody. Here comes Mace. He's gonna say he's not dressed and appropriate for all of his uh, audience. So this is my thin mint that I made. I did um, chocolate syrup on the top, a little bit of Oreo cookie, and then I mixed the mint, um, heavy whipping cream, sweet cream, and chocolate sauce. What do you think of that one? 
It tastes like a thin mint. It does. It tastes just like a thin mint cookie, doesn't it? Okay, you're not a huge fan of banana. No. Okay, so oh. you don't want to try the banana one. It's got brown sugar cinnamon. It's got this um, uh, banana puree, a little bit of whipped topping, and caramel sauce. Here we go. You gotta come over and show everybody what you think. <laughs> Not your thing. Not your thing. But no, you... no comment. Okay. Okay. So then um, the next one I did was our apple pie. So this one was done with the brown sugar cinnamon and just with some simply apple juice. God, the dogs are knocking me out. So that's just going to be like a little bit of an apple pie shot. Very good. You like that one? Okay. That and I got one good. more for him to try because God knows I can't finish these myself. This is done with the, this is a lemon shot. And this was done. I think you're going to like this because it's nice and tart. Come on over and show everybody what you think. Is that tart enough for you? That's pretty good. So this is done with the honey whiskey. I did a little bit of our honey puree that I make, um, the Tom Collins mix, and a little bit of club soda. Very good. Do you have a favorite mint, in these so thin far? Thin mint by far. Thin mint is yours by Very far. Good. So I can just I, like a thin mint. Okay. Well, then you get to finish that if you want. That's the rest of the thin mint, so you can do that. What do you think? Keep this with me. Okay. He's gonna keep that with him. So th there's two more that I'd like to do for you guys because there's just two more that came to mind on this. Um, one of which was a uh, Florida Georgia line. We've done this before. Mason's going to take the dogs away from me. Next week, Mason's going to join me and do Whiskey Wednesday with me. And I'm going to make him do some of his favorite cocktails since he's going to be helping me over the weekend. And, uh, coffee girl. and what? It's an and coffee girl. And coffee girl. Definitely coffee girl. You guys haven't seen the video, but I actually had a very dear friend of mine and her husband, also a dear friend of mine, um, I'll post this so you guys can see it, but they did their own Whiskey Wednesday. I totally think this is something, um, good hitty has in there too, um, totally something that we're going to have to plan. I really think that getting you guys to do your own Whiskey Wednesdays and sharing them with us is going to be just so much fun. It actually takes a little bit of pressure off me, and then maybe what I'll do with those is then actually implement those into the following week. So if you guys decide you're mixing it up, I do have... Um, somebody who did that and made a bunch of cocktails. I just think it's fabulous. I love that you guys share that with me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Cause after four years, um, even with all of these whiskeys, I'm still kind of running low on ideas. So I'm trying to play with it as much as possible. So this is uh, one of the last ones that I want to do for you. Um, this one is going to be that Florida Georgia line that I was talking about. Um, I just think this has got some really great potential. I haven't tried this yet. So I'm really winging this one with you, but I'm hoping this is going to be really good. I'm going to take one ounce of our peach whiskey. If you guys haven't tried this, this is so good. It's just great with Sprite. If you guys are one of those two poor things, Mason's a huge two poor. Um, we're just a whiskey and a cut. That's what he does. He likes to do this and Sprite. He likes to do the 1842 and root beer. He likes to do uh, the bourbon and Coke. He like, I mean, he just is very, very simplistic when it comes to things. Hunter also is another one who likes, I think he said the peach with um, Red Bull. That's one of the things. I think that's what you said, Hunter. If not, you can post and that, or Mamie says diet seven up because she, she likes diet. She likes to be able to um, have her calorie, not have her calories and be able to drink. Um, Hunter, I think you said it was um, peach and, and Red Bull, but just remind me if that's it. Um, so this one, I'm going to take one ounce of the peach whiskey. I'm going to add this to this jar because I want it to be, um, I want it to be kind of mixed up before I put it into the shot glasses. I'm going to take one ounce of the peach whiskey and I'm going to take two ounces of this, uh, pineapple orange. You guys, if you guys haven't tried these doles, change that up. This is great with the mint whiskey. If you guys want to do kind of like a little mint mosa, which um, Brenna and I did for Christmas, they were all fabulous. Um, but this one I would do, and I'm going to put two ounces of um, the juice in there. I'm going to do one with the peach and a second one. And what I've done with this is I've taken um, just a little cherry just one of your little maraschino cherries and put it in the bottom. It's got a tiny bit of grenadine in there. And then what I'm going to do is I've mixed this up and I'm just going to pour this over the top. So this is going to be my little Florida Georgia line. Kind of looks like a little bit of a um, Florida sunset to me. Florida Georgia sunset. So this is peach whiskey, just the cherry, and a little bit of pineapple orange juice. God, it tastes just almost like a tequila sunrise a bit. 
It's got a nice little bit strongness with that. You could actually add a little bit of simple syrup if that's it, if that's you, what you wanted. But I think this with the cherry, the little bit of grenadine in there uh, from the cherry and the um, peach whiskey and that, this would be a great shot. Perfect little New Year's shot. Super, super simple. Add your um, cherries in the bottom of your shot glasses. Add a shot of peach into everything and then just top it with your pineapple orange juice. Super good. If you guys haven't tried this one, recommend it. All right, I've got one more I want to try, and this is just one that um, I don't care how I mix this sucker up. It's always good, and I do this one in the uh, shot glass um, just because I think it's really great. I'm going to take our shot glass, and I'm going to use these measurements as a pour. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take my brown sugar cinnamon, and I'm going to um, put that up to the half ounce pour. You guys see, got a half ounce of the brown sugar cinnamon. Can you guys see that one so far? Half ounce of that. And then, you guys, I made a really strong um, coffee. You can do this with instant coffee. If you guys want to do it that way, you can add, take your um, Keurigs and go down to a four ounce with one of your Keurigs. And this is going to make it nice and strong. I think that vibrance is super good with this. Um, or you guys can take this stoke coffee. If you guys have had one of my iced coffees in the... Um, taste room do a shout out let me know that you guys loved it I hope so um, but this is obviously one of my go-to favorites they sell this at in uh, locally here it's only at Food Lion and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna pour this up to the half ounce it's just a half ounce of each it's a half ounce of the brown sugar cinnamon a half ounce of the strong coffee and then a half ounce of whatever sweet creamer you like this one for me I just like this one um, I would probably just as my own self um, do a regular coffee and then um, a heavy whipping cream just because I, I again try not to do my sugar but tonight we're going to say what the heck and we're going to go a little bit higher with this and that is my coffee shot that's how simple it is you top it with your creamer this is um, half ounce of the brown sugar cinnamon half ounce of strong coffee or the stoke coffee and a half ounce of whatever creamer or cream that you want to do and this is my coffee shot Highly, highly recommend this one. Ready? This one is definitely going on next week's menu. I need the shot glass. Sylvia, you come by and I promise you, you'll have a shot glass. These are really fun. You get to just play with it. I mean, that's the whole key to this is just kind of finding what you like with this. Take your whiskey, add a little bit of mixer, add a little bit of... um topper on this and then actually just have fun with it that's what we do we try every week to come up with something different for you guys i hope you guys have enjoyed this i really really hope that you guys um have a great happy new year um I know 2020 has been really rough for a lot of us, and so um, I'm going to be making sure that my door is wide open on New Year's Eve, letting out 2020 and embracing the 2021. Um, I wish you guys all the best. Happy, happy New Year. We're closed this weekend, but please know uh, Mason and I just need a little bit of a break. Um, he's going to go away for the weekend and visit his brother, and uh, we will be back the first weekend in January. Um, next Wednesday, we'll be doing all kinds of new cocktails and showing those with you, sharing those with you guys and letting you know some of the things that we're looking forward to in 2021. But um, anyway, you guys, Happy New Year to all of you. Hope you all had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. Please let us know what you guys are mixing and doing. We'd love to copy those recipes and do that. Why does it freeze? I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. Oh, my thing? I'm not quite sure. Probably my bad internet, Mamie. I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, love you guys all. Thanks so much. Take care.